Before this video begins, I'd like to give a huge thanks to my channel members, who you can see on screen now. Become a member by hitting the join button and get your name here among other awards today. Hello there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 3. Today we're continuing on Let's Play, this is episode 172. In today's episode we have to take a look at the Class C Speedway Challenge. For that we need a Class C car for speedwaying and well, we're going for the fastest car we can get, the 2004 Bentley Continental GT, which is a C-Class car in this game. That's also a Bentley. It is a Bentley. What? It does come in beige. I'm 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 lost here. I want the beige. What? It's like a green beige. Yeah. Why is it C class? Um four wheel drive. And because it weighs more than your house. Anyways, Class C Speedway Challenge. Performance production cars from Class C take on Speedway Ovals. We begin at Speedway Reverse, because that makes a difference. Sedona. God's sake, it's Sonoma. So it's Sedona Sonoma? Again, not I wish. Isn't not, Sonoma... Not Sonoma. Sonoma is... What? Infineon. Infineon yeah. Not Infineon, but Infineon. That's Sonoma for you. That's a point. Have we seen any games come out recently with like Laguna Seca under its new name yet? What, Mazda Speedway? New name? It's not Mazda Speedway anymore, is it? Are you what? It's WeatherTech Laguna Seca now or something. Oh, piss off, it's not WeatherTech. Yeah, it is. That's an awful name. Mazda Light ran out of money. <laughs> they can't sponsor racetracks anymore. <laughs> They're not selling enough compact crossover SUVs. Look at those wheels. They're disgusting. Um, I'm still confused. Power! This is a completely fair and balanced grid. Yes. The Dodge Charger SRC8 is actually quicker than a Mentally Continental. Did you not know? Yes. Probably is. Oh, it's an English model in this game as well. Hurrah. Oh, hold on. This is reverse NASCAR. Yes. If you did this in real life, NASCARs would be confused. Thankfully, we are not driving NASCARs. So. Well, yet. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, God. Don't say that. <laughs> what? I don't like NASCARs. Anyway. I don't like NASCARs either. Fuck NASCAR. Nas <laughs> Bentley is what it's all about. <laughs> yes, then. Nas Ben. Nas Ben. <laughs> Sounds like a name of like a corner shop or something in like the south. Just been to Nas Ben. <laughs> Got me like, I don't know, what would you get from Nas Ben? Wrigley's Extra. Two bottles. Emerge Energy Drink. Yeah, I got a bottle of Emerge, two bottles of WKD, and some Hubba Bubba. I don't know. Hey, DR, check DMs. Oh, for God's sake. I always get concerned when he says check DMs. It's never. So it's you, you um, stuff. Who isn't, though, as a serious <laughs> You can tell why I what? I can tell why you bought um, Tesco Value considering the fact that you're turning right. Yes. No, it wasn't supposed to be like this. It's just because I, I... It's the Speedway Challenge. <laughs> yeah, but... And the Speedway Challenge yeah. it means you have to go around speedways. And what is a speedway? It's a term for not a real track. <laughs> also, I may have had a slight issue with picking this car. Right. The NSX is actually faster. I think. Okay. Because it does not weigh more than my house. Well, kill it when it comes close. Well, that's, well, that's your problem. That's a you problem. Wait a minute. That's not a NASCAR. It, it's an ass car. Because it's an ass car. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's got a fat ass. It has got a fat ass. It also apparently cannot right. take this corner at any point. You know, just brake check the NSX. There you go. The automobile well, to be fair, if the NSX does come near me, it's going to get fucking cream pied, but that's not the point. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. No, not in that way, you dirty peasant. Ah, oh, okay. You know, like, smashed. That doesn't help things. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> Destroyed beyond all recognition. Oh my! That's my fetish. I don't think I can actually have the stream up 
So you guys are gonna have to fucking relay things back to me. What is it? There's a Bentley going around the corner. It's a Bentley Continental Something. GT. Oh no, it's the thick boy, isn't it? We're not yeah. going to do that. GT class. It's a 2004 Bentley Continental GT, to be more precise. It would be like full on commentary. It's like, the year when they. Actually, no, this is not. This is the second year of Continental GT because there were some 03 models. Uh, the Bentley Continental GT started production in 2003. Uh, it was a two door version of a, the other one. Um, <laughs> six litre W12. It was the smallest car Bentley ever built. Uh, it's gone through. Well, which isn't the same much. It's gone through uh, a few major facelifts and a new model has just come out like a few years ago. And it's alright. Yeah, a few major like facelifts that all conveniently look the same. Yeah, the only. Th I mean, the problem with the Continental GT is it. It is a car which is exactly how Top Gear hmm. described it. Yeah, well, his it, it, thing it literally is. The only no, but it literally is as Top Gear described it. It was. Woke up, I hate the Bentley Continental, I hate the Bentley Continental, I hate the Bentley Continental, I love the Bentley Continental. It's <laughs> like. It. Like, this original model, I don't like, but through a few small facelifts, it got really kind of good looking. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> it's I so really like weird. Them. I really like the more modern ones, to be honest. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah, but here's the thing. I feel like um, Bentley actually changed more with how the Continental looked than uh, Porsche's done with yeah. how many 911s mm. there's been. I mean, the, con like, the new Continental really tell... is quite a bit different. It's got different well, shaped really lights. Tell Porsches apart? Is it still a gigantic, fat-ass car? Yes. Although I think this one's designed to be more lightweight. I'm not sure. Quote unquote lightweight. Yes. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, Bentley don't make a bad-looking car. The Bentayga is beautiful. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Um. <laughs> the Dominator looks better. Have them all as what? Listen, the Bentayga is amazing for one reason and one reason only. Do you know the reason why it has giant circle lights? Why? Why? Because headlight washers burst out of the middle and clean all of the light. That's incredible. Okay, that's actually pretty 360 cool. degree light washing standard on your Bentley Bentayga. That's Fantastic. incredible. Exactly. That, that's actually pretty cool. Yes, I know. That's why the Bentley Bentayga is the best car in the world. But is it a 1957 it's Chevrolet? It's Sunset Peninsula Raceway Speedway. But it's in reverse. Holy shit. Ow. Wow. You're turning right. Yes. That this might is the opposite worse. of last. Something that uh, not usually um, NASCAR's struggle to do. Bentley's also struggled to t go around corners, to be fair, so... Yeah, but there they can at more... least turn right. Uh, yeah, at least Bentley struggled to get around all corners. Yeah, Bentleys aren't really... They're not racist towards different types of corners. <laughs> they're ambidextrous. They're not racist. Yeah. They, they, yeah, they are they're ambidextrous. They're not... And uh, not stuck with those pesky lefties. They're like one of those ambidextrous people that are ambidextrous, but they suck at writing with both hands, so it doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> so, to be honest, my handwriting is so bad with my normal hand that I just call myself ambidextrous, so... My go. handwriting is appalling. Yeah, I can't. I wanna have Mind you, if you ever met someone who says their handwriting is good... No. no. That's like the I'm weirdest flex. Bad. Like, oh, I've got good handwriting. Like, shut up. Shut the fuck up. That's a weird cares. flex. What was that? It it's not as weird a flex as what was going on in fucking Ample Chat the other day when Ludo was showing off about the wattage of his fucking microwave. <laughs> to be fair, his microwave's got double the wattage of my PC, so like... Yeah, I know, but like, it's a fucking <laughs> microwave. It's a fucking microwave. Wait, does this mean that Ludo's microwave is Like, who actually has PC? ever cooked anything they've actually ever actually physically wanted to eat in a microwave? I mean, he no. took anything he could get. Like, you never actually want to eat what comes out of a microwave, just do it because it's quicker. Exactly. I can't eat anything out of a microwave, I hate microwaves. Mm -hmm. They give you the radiation cancer. 
They do make it Fallout New Vegas every time I wake up, so... Yeah. It's just like 5G. I'm referencing New Vegas because people wouldn't get angry because people think Fallout 4 sucks. And they also think Fallout 76 sucks, although they're completely correct in that regard. I mean, have you seen the thing with people getting, like, massively conspiratory about fucking 4 5G? What? They think 5G is, like, a government tool to, like... Oh, I bring... know who has been banned from using Google Chrome on its phones or something. What? Who is like, the whatever they're called, you know. US. That, like, phone company that starts with a H and a W, so it's like... Oh, yeah, Hawaii. Hawaii. Hyundai. Hawaii. Oh, don't start with Hyundai at the moment. <laughs> Have you seen their new advert? No, I haven't oh. seen it. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh no. It's Something tells me this is going to end badly. Yes. <laughs> no, I will tell you how great this advert is. Please. It's one of those look at our history adverts. Look. And they're like, for oh, years we've what been history? building cars. And I don't think they actually say anything positive about their cars during the entire thing of them, we build cars. <laughs> and like, they've got like a fucking Hyundai Tuscany, like the original fucking Hyundai Santa Fe or Tuscan or whatever the fuck it was called, depending on where you live, like coming, like the cover being unveiled on it, and then they've got like a Hyundai Coupe driving through a puddle. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> and then that shows like how strong that car is. And then you, yeah. and then in the background, you got this shitty little Greece and uh, accent. No, no, it's like then the next car's like uh, I think it's like a Hyundai Stellar or a Hyundai Pony coming off a shipping crate in like the eighties, when Hyundai was known for making really shitty cars. I think they missed an opportunity with that advert though. They could have showed some of the true great Hyundai's like the Gets, and. Um, the thing about Hyundai is... What of a great Hyundai is... Great Hyundai... Um, none. The 2000 Coupe, which no, is they like showed the, they showed the, the uh, paper type R to a child. I think the one they showed in the adverts, the s Coupe. <gasps> the Scoop! Nice. It's even, well, the funny thing is, as well, in that advert, they unveiled the Tuscan, but the Tuscan wasn't called the Tuscan here. It was the Santa Fe here. And I think hmm. they also did show they off... Glim like, did they gloss over the Amica? Yes, oh, the Amica. I mean, how can you gloss over that? I oh, know. Listen, all oh, the Atolls, actually, there you go, there's been one. Aren't they the same car? No, but the Atolls delivered my favourite motoring moment in my entire life. Oh? Watching one with three fat people go around the roundabout and almost falling over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking, it was incredible. That's amazing. I think the shocks might have been broken on it as well, because it did lean badly. <laughs> Three fat like you know when Hyundai, trucks, you know when trucks stuff. fall over, they don't like they, they're sort of gradual. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing that. <laughs> oh, hello, Ford Focus RS. That's a perfect car to go speedwaying with. It's a Ford NASCAR noise. There you go. It's mm. a f yes. It, it is so NAS. It could be considered a car. <laughs> no way. <laughs> No fucking way. That is absolutely mental. Look at the wood. The wood and the white leather in this car. Ooh. Just ooh. It's sexual. I saw a Maserati Grand Turismo today. Wow! I would have been impressed, but then I remembered you can get them on eBay for, I'm not joking, eight grand now. So... Yeah. Wow, they de <coughs> they've depreciated that much. Yes, the yeah. second to Aston Martin, or actually no, Aston Martin is slightly better than they are in the depreciation front. Again, I feel the need to point this out every time I mention Aston Martin. Never forget the Aston Martin to depreciate the least over like the last like two decades of Aston Martin is the Signet. Mm. Never forget. Oh yeah, because it's a fucking. The signet is still the signet is still a thirty grand car. <laughs> it's basically a fucking facelifted <laughs> IQ. 
Yeah. That's it. The Aston Martin Signet will still sell for 30 grand. An Aston Martin DB9 of the same vintage is actually now cheaper than a Signet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me... The thing is, I wish the Signet was cheap. I wish it was like two grand because I'd love one. For the fun of it, but... You could flex so you got an Aston Martin. Yeah, and also the seats look comfy as fucking a Signet. Also, the Signet does not get as much credit as it deserves. They mm -hmm. Aston Martin put in some nice leather seats, and um, they also changed the gauge cluster, so the the font didn't look like Toyota anymore. Um, oh, wow. They also put vents in the hood, so you know it was more racy. <laughs> Is that a good thing? I bet you any money. I've heard this before. There's like, you know those fucking like, the supercar kiddies of London? Oh yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah. All of them have signets. All of them. Like, people just bought signets as like, other cars. If they didn't want like a Range Rover, they wanted something they could actually chuck around a city. Jesus Christ. Who would choose like a signet over a Range Rover? Well, I mean, for... Uh, this, the list price on a Signet was like 35 so you can either get a Signet or a decently spec 3 series. Low end 5 series. Isn't that just like a no brainer though? Like, obviously, you'd go for the Signet. <laughs> An Audi A3. Yeah. Um, what else could you buy? If you used to put it in modern time terms, you could either get an Aston Martin Signet or a fully loaded Honda CRV. CRV, I love the CRV. I like the CRV. Hey, I've sat in a CRV, that's fucking single greatest car I've ever sat in. Not really, but fuck. Yeah. I, I, I'm not joking, I think I'd have a CRV over a Civic these days. The CRV is Fair so nice inside. I mean, it'll be fairly comfy. It's like being Probably. in a cow's womb. Personal experience? Okay! The only problem is the hybrid model's like 40 grand. <laughs> Don't get a hybrid. <laughs> there you and, go. Uh, and, and the camera's better. Because the camera's yeah, the camera. Can. I've told them, I, I told my little tiny dealership, we need to get the Insight back. As soon as the Insight comes to this country, I'll buy one in 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the new Insight? It's incredible. They, it's not as good haven't. as the first insight. No, no, it's no, no, it's incredible now because what they did is they took everything that was unique and interesting about the insight and ripped it to pieces. So they've made it just literally an accord, but it's badged insight. <laughs> nice. Oh wait, so you can just buy insight badges and stick them on your accord? No, because my in <laughs> my car's not hybrid, unfortunately. I wish it was. Oh, just like put a toaster on it. Put a toaster. Toasters don't have batteries. Put an Xbox controller on it. My Xbox controllers are wired. Um. Just do the Jeremy Clarkson, buy a Hummer and put a 9 volt battery in it and say, hey, hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of doing it, I guess. Do you not remember that fucking Top Gear uh, news segment they had where it was just like, best car I've driven this summer, Lexus GS450H, because it just drives like a normal car. You can do. I think yeah. he was like, best bit about it, you can only do like one mile on the electric power alone. And I was like, well, what's yes. the point? And he's like, because it, invo it avoids the congestion charge. So you get to run around <laughs> on V6 power all day, and then you get to drive through London for free, despite the fact that you're not helping the environment at all. That's fantastic. I like the GS450. I'd buy one if I was a pretentious knob. Shit, I should buy one. <laughs> also, the rear wheel drive. I don't want a rear wheel drive. But you can drift it. No. Have you oh. ever drifted a car before? It's terrifying. That's the point. <laughs> Have you ever snow drifted Not in a Subaru as terrifying Impreza? As it's terrifying. Our dad has. Yes. Snow drifting is not fun. Well, it, yeah, it, it, it isn't fun. Uh, it isn't fun if you don't want it to happen. It is fun when you do want it to happen. 
It is fun if it's not your car. Oh, it was my car. Oh, I went around one roundabout, I was like, oh shit, the rear traction braking, and I saw another roundabout in the distance, so I was like, hmm, how about I just, like, Scandinavian flick this bitch and see what happens? Fuck off, Mill, that, that was fun. That was fun as fuck, Scandinavian flicking. Yeah. Must, must confess, closed road. I don't condone any form of foolish driving behaviour. You don't, and when you're don't driving on the road, obey the lords of the road and always wear your seatbelt. Alright, Captain Need for Speed. Mia from Need for Speed Most Wanted. I'd like to think me and her share a lot in common. Of course you do. Right. Although in my later years, I think my tastes have matured and now Nikki from Carbon looks slightly... Mm. I mean, I, I'm kind of after Neville from Carbon. <laughs> 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 Are you the monkey too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you'd be like after Wolf TFK with his money and his leather gloves. No. Or Darius with his fucking combat pants. No, I don't like square people. Do you not like his combat pants? I don't like his square chin. <laughs> he has got a square chin, hasn't he? He looks like a Minecraft block with a hat. <laughs> He looks like the crimson chin from Fairly Odd Parents, to be fair. <laughs> Fuck! He was just like less buff. He has got. Oh my god! Needs to be carbon live action <laughs> thing. They get John Cena to play Darius. Oh, dear god. That would god. be incredible. Remastered, but they have to remaster all the cutscenes. Yes! And put like <laughs> John Cena's face in it. And instead of like. Looking disappointed in like the final thing, he just like puts his hand over his face, says you can't see me, and then his Audi disappears, and that's the end of the game. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the Class C Speedway Challenge. Thank you all very much for watching. Next, I'm going to take a look at the Class B Speedway Challenge. Bet you couldn't see that one coming. Uh, join us for that. Until then, uh, farewell. I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not. <laughs> Leave that in the video. <laughs>